Hi, everybody. I'm just getting my head back around how to do Zooms and upload them. I um, hope you're all okay and that you have had a lovely weekend. I do apologise about all the kerfuffle at school with the boiler, but fingers crossed um, the workmen will get it finished and sorted as soon as possible. But for now, I am here virtually. Ooh. Uh, I've got my Christmas tree in the background to make us all feel a little bit more festive. And we are starting off our day with English. Or you can start off your day with whatever you choose to do. Um, because I'm going to be uploading English, maths, and a little bit of shared read as well. So let's get started. So what I would like you to do for English today is to write a clear recount of our visit to the panto, the pantomime, um, really focusing and following on from the work that we've been doing in class and the work that I set on Friday. I can't remember what day it was now, on Friday, um, about your verbs, because um, I really want to embed that within your understanding and make sure that you are really clear on what a verb actually is. Um, you're all super duper at it in class. We know that it's a doing word or an action. So to jump, to move, to dance, to jog, to wiggle. Um, so I'm really looking out for those verbs in your writing today, not just we went or I go, um, really trying to think about them a little bit more carefully. Okay, so to warm up. So I'm gonna ask the question and then you can pause me um, and have a little thing, have a chat to your grown up, or if you're working on your own, um, just try and remember carefully um, about our learning in class and what a verb actually is. So we've got three, um, things at the bottom here, we've got two words and a picture. So which one of these out of the words and the pictures um, is not a verb? Bum, bum, bum. You can pause me now. So it is far. So far is not a verb. What I always try and do with verbs is put two. So you can't to far. So you to clap, to run or jump or leap or whatever you might be doing. Um, but no, far is not a verb. So if you got that one, well done. Okay, next one. So which one of these, again, is not a verb? So we've got three things and you've got little pictures as well to go with them to help your understanding. Um, so you can pause me now, have a think which one it is. Right, so on the bottom we have argue. Quite a tricky word, that one, argue. We've got looked. And we've got tree. If you said tree for not being a verb, you are correct. Again, well done, you are on a roll. Um, we can't tree, can we? Um, tree is a noun, um, person, place, thing or object. It is not a verb. So to argue, to look, they are both verbs. So well done, fabulous. Okay, so we've got two people here having a little bit of a discussion like we do in class. Um, we've got Ed and Raya, I think that's how we pronounce it. So Ed is saying broke is a verb, whereas Raya is saying giant is a verb. Now we have read lots about giants um, in our Jack and the Bait Bean Stoke book that we've been looking at in class. So pause me now, who do you think's right? Who do you think's wrong? So if you said Raya is incorrect, you are right. Giant is not a verb. Um, again, it's a noun. We know that the giant in our Jack and the Bait Beanstalk was a big, tall man person um, who lives in the castle in the clouds. So well done if you had a good go at that. OK, right. So moving on to Panto, we had a fantastic day. We had lots of excited children. Um, we all went on the double decker bus, we got there um, and there was lots of lights and smoke and fireworks, um, some very silly characters, some fantastic singing and we all had an absolutely brilliant day. Um, like I said to mums and dads, you were all excited but your behaviour um, was wonderful. 
just real as as I'm doing this I don't look like I have any hair but it's just in a bun on top of my head um so yeah you were all wonderful and I was a very very proud teacher so thank you so much so we're going to think today um about the key events of the panto um we're going to write in sequence um and write some lovely clear sentences really showing your grown-ups at home what you're capable of um, and obviously myself and Miss Krillet would love to see some of your work uploaded to your dojo portfolio, please. Okay, so I put a little picture of the stage up. Flipping onto the next page, we've got some key vocabulary that I would like to see in your work. So I've chose different pictures of things that stuck in my mind from the panto. Um, we've obviously got Aladdin because that was um, what the panto was all about. It was Aladdin, love that film. We've got Princess Jasmine, uh, who was also a wonderful character. We've got ice cream in the middle because in the interval, 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 we all had um, some ice cream. The teacher's got a nice cup of tea and a biscuit. Uh, we've got Widow Twanke, probably the silliest character. We had some very interesting costumes, um, but she was very funny. Uh, scrolling down, we've got the magic lamp, um, which is a massive part of Aladdin. I know lots of you have watched the film at home as well. We were chatting about it a little bit, weren't we? Um, I've uploaded a picture of the double-decker bus. We all got to go on a double-decker bus. So I think we had year three and some of year fours upstairs as well. Uh, so we all squashed on there. And then finally, we've got the stage. Um, and stage, we've got split diagraphing as well. We've been learning about those in class two. Um, so yeah, let's see how we're going to set this out, this recount together. Okay, the doc. So I've got first, then, after, next, finally. Now, these can be used as prompts to help you in structuring your recount. So today, year two, what I'd like to see is you really trying your absolute best with your writing. Um, not just one sentence, we went to the panto, it was good. Um, really trying to think what we do in class about extending our sentences, about that key vocabulary. Um, yeah, just showing us what you're capable of because you are fantastic. So I'm gonna start writing a little bit of one, um, like we do in class when I model it on the board for you. Um, just to give you an idea of how to start yourself off. So let me just remember how to do this, everybody. You don't have to bear with me. It's been a while since we've done Zooms. Let's make it big enough for you all to see when it decides to play. Sorry, everybody, bear with me. Right, I'll just put a la in there for a second just while I make it a bit bigger. Okay. Thank you for being patient. So, Let's think about our vocabulary that we just looked at. So I had first, first. Now we're thinking about what we did first. Um, and there was obviously the journey to the theatre. So first, we all, and I'm thinking as well about my verbs. So I could say we all went on the double decker. Um, but I'm just thinking about how you all got on it. And some of you, because the step was quite big, you had to climb on it. So first we all climbed and it's happened. So it's past 10. So I've put my ED ending on it. So first we all climbed on the double decker bus. Decker bus. Then what did we do? We set off on our journey to the pantomime and felt very excited. And I'm going to use what type of punctuation that I'm going to use an exclamation mark because we were super excited. So reading to check because even as grown ups, we make mistakes. First, we all climbed on the double-decker bus. We set off on our journey to the pantomime and felt very excited. 
thinking about my words. So I've got first, what did I put then? Then. I'm not going to use then actually, I might use when. When we arrived, we, and there was a lady helping, so we were shown our seats by a friendly lady in a bright yellow jacket. Sorry, everybody, I scroll down for you. So, reading check my next sentence. When we arrived, we were shown our seats by a friendly lady in a bright yellow jacket. Thinking back to double check, then. Then the show began and it was fantastic. Sorry, I'm typing too quick. Then the show began and it was fant fantastic. And I'm going to go into detail about what there was in the show. So I'm going to say there were lots of characters, including, going back to my key vocabulary, um, including Aladdin. So Aladdin needs a capital because it is a name and Princess Jasmine. Okay, right, I'm going to stop there and I'm going to read to check it all because this is what you should be doing at home. Notice my use of capital letters and full stops. They are super important and we should have those embedded now, so make sure you're including those into your writing. So, first, we all climbed on the double-decker bus. We set off on our journey to the pantomime and felt very excited. When we arrived, we were shown to our seats by a friendly lady in a bright yellow jacket. Then the show began and it was fantastic. There were lots of characters, including Aladdin and Princess Jasmine. So I'm gonna leave mine there because I want you to get started. If you need to rewind this or stop at any point, you can do. Um, obviously in yours, you're gonna carry on a little bit further, tell me a little bit more about the show, talk to your grown-ups about it, let them know what happened. So there, there were the fireworks, there was the smoke, there was the bad day, um, and the ice cream as well, which you all really enjoyed. Um, so yeah, try your very best today. Again, I'm sorry um, that we're not in school, um, but I'm sure we will see each other very soon. Okie doke. Good luck, everybody. Do your very best. Thank you.